My name is Mashu. I'm an employee who is going to turn 32 this year. I'm single now, but I was married until six months ago. My ex-wife's name is Jessica. Just after three months of marriage, I was suddenly asked for a divorce. Apparently, she fell in love with someone else. I felt it was meaningless to continue a marriage without love, so I agreed to divorce her. It was not long since we got married and already she found someone else. I became so disgusted with her that I didn't even want to see her face. My life hit rock bottom because I had failed with my marriage. But something great unexpectedly happened. I bought a lottery ticket for fun and what do you know? I won a hundred million dollars. I thought this was a gift from God because he had felt so sorry for me. One day, when I was enjoying this happiness, I suddenly received a message from Jessica. Long time, Matthew. Jessica, what do you want? Uh, I heard a rumor that has been on my mind. A rumor? What's it about? I don't know the details, but is it true that you became rich? Where on earth did you hear that? From your little sister, Ruth. I coincidentally bumped into her in the city. She then told me that you became rolled. She was so excited. She said, thank you for getting a divorce with Matthew. I got pretty mad when she said that to me. Gosh, her and her big mouth. But is it true that you became rich? Yeah, I guess so. I'm still working though. How rich are you now? Why do you ask such a question? It doesn't involve you anymore since we're divorced. Ew, don't say that. We were once married. Oh, I don't care. An amount that no ordinary person can ever have, I guess. That much? What made you become that rich? I won the lottery. I bought it for the fun of it, and I ended up winning tons of money. You won tons of money from the lottery? How awesome! How impressive! You always had good luck from before. Give me a break. If I really had good luck, I wouldn't get a divorce after three months of marriage. Do you mind if I suggest something? What do you mean, suggest? How about if we start over? What are you saying? Aren't you going out with that guy you fell in love with? Well, yeah, but I'm thinking of breaking up with him. Why? He wasn't as reliable as I thought he would be. He doesn't make much money. I know that money isn't everything, but it is a barometer of life, you know. If you don't have money, it means that you can't see a future in the relationship. It's money after all, huh? Didn't you say when we were discussing the divorce, if you have love, you don't need anything else? That is true, but when you think about marriage, it is difficult. Realistically, I want to get married and live a stable life. When I thought of that, I realized something after breaking up with you. You are reliable and you are the kind of man to support your wife. Even though you realized it, now it's too late. I'm sorry, I was wrong. So can we please get back together? It's only been six months since we got a divorce. Aren't you the one who said that you found someone you love and wanted the divorce? It's impossible to get married to that kind of person again. It will be okay this time, I'm sure of it. I won't look at anyone else anymore, I will support you. That's such a selfish suggestion. You are just after me for my money, aren't you? No, it's not that. I was thinking about this long before I found out you became rich. I coincidentally heard about you and that gave me a good reason to contact you, that's all. Yeah, right? The reason why Jessica had said that she wanted to get back together was obvious. It was because I became rich. There was no way that I was going to accept her suggestion. The fact that I didn't want to see her face hadn't changed at all. The heartbreak of getting divorced after three months can never be healed after just six months. There was a part of me that was holding a grudge on her too. She continued to contact me every single day, and one day, she made another suggestion. Good morning, you have off today, don't you? Yeah, what do you want now? Have you thought about marrying me again? I've told you a million times, 
I would never get remarried to a woman that dumped me. I thought you would say that, but I'm serious. That's why I thought of something different. Can you hear me out? A new suggestion, huh? What is it? Can you go out on a date with me today? If you find me attractive, then I want you to think of our marriage again. You have such confidence, don't you? You were the one who fell in love with me at first sight, weren't you? You proposed to me too. You loved me a lot. I don't think that feeling has disappeared completely. I was young back then. You are beautiful and you have a nice figure. I thought physical beauty was the meaning of attractiveness. Recently, I've been working on my appearance more. I'm sure you'll find me more attractive now than before. So go out with me and give me a chance. Oh, alright. If you say that much, I'll go out with you. If I find you attractive, I won't mind thinking about it. Really? I'm so happy. Then I'll meet you at the restaurant that we used to go to a lot. See you tonight at 7 p.m. Alright. I'll make sure I go. Jessica was so annoying, I ended up accepting her invitation just this once. It had been a while that I went to the restaurant and saw her. It is true that she was beautiful, but I was hurt so badly from the divorce that I couldn't think of anything else. We finished dinner and went home. I was exhausted by the time I got home. I don't know if it's because I hadn't seen her in a while, but I was tired and boiling with anger after seeing her face. She divorced me due to her own selfishness, and now she's coming near me for my money. I thought it was okay for me to take revenge on her at least a little. Thanks for going out with me today. I had such a fun night. So did I. Really? I'm so glad you enjoyed yourself. Don't you think I became attractive? Yeah, you are right that you became much more beautiful than before. I'm so happy. It was worth the effort. You look younger than your actual age, don't you think? You think so? I guess people tell me that a lot. Did you find me attractive? Well, you are attractive, alright. Then, you will marry me again? You are so impatient. This is something important. I can't decide right away. Can you give me some time? Alright, I'll contact you again after a while. Uh, I want to take my time and think about it. Can you give me about a month? A month? Isn't that pretty wrong? I can't make up my mind that easily when we are talking about marriage. You are right, I'll wait. Think about it, okay? Okay, see ya. I asked her to give me time, but to be honest, I didn't feel like thinking about it at all. Jessica probably believed that I was seriously thinking about the marriage with her. She waited patiently for a month without contacting me. It was so obvious that Jessica was trying to hang on to the rich me. The more I thought about Jessica's feelings, the more I became disgusted with her. And one day, after a month had passed, I received a message from Jessica as planned. Good evening. As we had discussed, a month has passed now. I really couldn't wait for this day to come. A month had gone by already, huh? And you've thought about our marriage, haven't you? Yeah, I already have the answer. It's impossible. What? Wait, you said that you'd think about it seriously. I waited for a month, you know. No matter how much I think about it, there is no way that I can be with you again. You should have known that. But you told me that you find me attractive. You are beautiful and you do have a nice figure. And it's true that you are getting more and more attractive. See, what did I tell you? But that's it. A month ago, I said the same thing. You don't have the attractiveness as a person. Attractiveness as a person? Then why did you make me wait this long? I never thought you would wait this patiently. Do you really think there is a man who would take a month to seriously think of getting back together with a woman who dumped him? You must have been pretty desperate to believe such a thing. Hey, that's so mean. Who's the mean one? 
I suffered much longer after being told that you fell in love with someone else. We just got married, and you dumped me. I told you that I was wrong, and that I'm sorry, haven't I? Plus, the minute I became rich, you tell me that you want to start over. It's obvious that you are after my money. I told you, that's not true. Even if I were to get back together with you, there is no happy future ahead of us. I'm not stupid enough to fall for your rooks and make the same mistake twice. The next time I get married, I want someone who is honest and faithful. If you get the picture, don't contact me again. You are going to regret it, you know. You are not going to meet anyone as beautiful as I am. You are the one who taught me that the inside of a person is more important than the outside. Thanks, see ya. After that, Jessica wouldn't give up on me and was sending so many messages that I ignored all of them. Finally, she gave up and decided to go back to her boyfriend. Actually, while she was desperately trying to get remarried to me, her boyfriend had made a different girlfriend, and I heard Jessica was dumped. As for myself, I decided not to talk about winning the lottery to anyone. I didn't want women coming near me for my money. And now, I am going out with an honest woman. I'll be happy without any money if I can be with you. Let's work together and become happy. Those were her words. I am definitely going to make her happy.